Need a reliable stone gen that's simple and efficient? We'll check this out. What's up everybody, it's Broken Bones here and welcome to Redstone in a Box. Today we're going to be showing you how to build this industrial stone generator that's super simple and reliable. This farm produces 10 stone blocks every 20 game ticks, which is exactly the maximum amount that a single hopper line can handle. Also, the configuration of the lava, the pistons, and the water make this farm completely and 100% reliable. As you can see, the lava is two blocks above, and the pistons chop it off, which ensures that the water will flow out first before the lava ever flows down, making the stone create in this area, and not making your uh, water sources ever get deleted and turning into stone. And as you can see, since this farm is 100% reliable, even if nobody's chopping out the stone, it will never back up. It'll constantly run and never get jammed. However, having the stone generator run constantly could get a bit noisy, so we've installed two ways of turning it on and off. First way is our manual override. All you have to do is flick that switch and it'll turn the stone generator on. This is where you're going to go ahead and manually uh, mine stone. You don't want to sit here AFK because your pickaxe will break. There's no XP coming into the system. But say you want to go ahead and AFK here overnight and get yourself stacks upon stacks of stone. You can go and grab yourself some soccer boxes filled with XP, put them right on top of these hoppers here, and they'll be loaded right into, the, into this dispenser. As soon as this dispenser has any items in it at all, even just one bottle of enchanting, as you can see, it's going to turn the farm on right here, just like that. Let's go ahead and mend our, or get ourselves some stone here. Here, in just a few moments, uh, after we get ourselves 50 pieces of stone, we're going to get a, uh, a battle of enchanting in the back, and it's going to spew all over us, mending our pickaxe for us, so our pickaxe will never break. And as you can see, it just mended it right now, and as you can see, no more stone is coming into the system because we're all out of bottles of enchanting. So it turns itself off as soon as it's empty. And with that being said, let's go ahead and tear into our redstone in a box. What we have over here is we have a stack and one redstone, two redstone blocks, 18 sticky pistons, 20 regular pistons, a dispenser, two droppers, five comparators, 26 repeaters, nine redstone torches, two redstone lamps, a chest, a lever, four buttons, nine hoppers, 17 observers, two doors, and two pressure plates. Over here we have seven stacks and 36 blocks of your choice. Four stacks and 40 stairs, a stack and 30 slabs, a stack and three glass, 18 sea lanterns or light sources of your choice, 50 iron bars or fences of your choice, also uh, eight other slabs for doing the redstone in the back, uh, 15 stone, 33 obsidian, and 64 torches. Over here we have some more. We have ourselves 12 buckets of lava, so that's uh, including what I have in the design. You need 10 total for the machine. Uh, over here we have uh, two buckets of water. These should be enough to go ahead and get you some infinite water sources to continue the rest of the water in the design. Over here you are going to need two stacks and 60 iron. That's almost three stacks of, actually it could be any block of your choice that uh, will support a beacon. So uh, blocks of iron, blocks of gold, blocks of uh, diamond, anything like that. That'll go ahead and support two beacons. You are going to need two. You're going to need one for regen and one for haste too. And then you're also going to need two activation devices to go ahead and activate your beacons as well as a soak touch pick. You can also double up on this farm as a cobblestone farm just by having all the other enchantments, efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, and mending without soak touch and it'll go ahead and make cobblestone for you just as well. You can also have fortune on there too. That doesn't hurt anything, but it won't get anything extra. It'll just go ahead and still make cobblestone. The only thing that you will get stone from is actually a soak touch pick. So once once uh, that's done, uh, you'll, you'll also need to make sure that you have bottles of enchanting. So uh, it, you can also put two shulker boxes in the design, which will get you plenty of stone. Like I said, one stack of bottles of enchanting gets you 50 stacks of stone. So that's a pretty good return on that uh, that number, 50 stacks of stone for one stack of bottles of enchanting. That's a pretty good pretty good ratio there. So if you have two shulker boxes, that'll end up being 50 shulker boxes 
<laughs> of stone. So I think I, I think that'll be enough for any just about anybody on any survival world. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and head on back to the other world and go ahead and get ready to do the tutorial. This build is 13 blocks wide by 17 blocks long by 15 blocks tall, three of which being below the floor level. To get things started, go ahead and place in your chest. This is going to be your storage area, and what you guys want to do with your storage from this point is completely up to you. I will go ahead and leave some links down in the description, as well as the end screen, to some sorting systems and shulker box loading stations that you guys can go ahead and hook up to this thing. Uh, for now, go ahead and place in your chest. This is going to be right in the dead center of your farm on your 13 block wide area. From the back of the farm, it's going to be 7 blocks in. From the front, it's going to be 9 blocks in. So once you have that in place, go ahead and crouch place a hopper into the back. You're going to go just like this and jump up one just like that. This is going to be uh, uh, five hoppers out, including this one. So count one, two, and then three, four, and five. So a total of five hoppers just like you see. Go ahead and crouch place some obsidian on the side of these guys. You're going to border uh, both sides off with some obsidian. So go ahead and get that in place. What you're going to do here is you're going to come all the way out with obsidian. Come up by one block. Put in your pistons just like this. Bring those all the way across just like so. What you're going to do now is come in the back side. Place obsidian around the back with some repeaters on one tick facing into those pistons just like so. Place some glass on top of those pistons just like that with some blocks up behind those repeaters just like this. What you're going to do now is border that off, come over towards your chest side, come out by two more blocks. You're going to put a repeater set to four ticks with some redstone dust all the way across just like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and come right over here and you're going to place some, uh, let's see here, you're going to place some glass right here just like this coming in right across all these repeaters right here. Go ahead and get that in. And then across these, you're going to go ahead and place some sticky pistons right on top, just like that, just right there. Go ahead and come down here with some regular uh, regular pistons in that direction right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get some uh, stone, or some obsidian, and you're going to come right over here on top of your uh, hoppers, just like this. Go ahead and border these all the way across, just like that. And then right here, you're going to go ahead and place in uh, some more obsidian, like this, right on top of these guys right here. Just like that. And then some stone on these guys right here. Go ahead and place stone right there, and then right here. So when you do this side, you're going to place in the stone. Uh, for now, go ahead and place in uh, a block right here, like this, to border off your water. Just like that. And then over here, you're going to be placing in all of your water. So let's get this in place here. Go ahead and get your water in over here, you're going to go just like this, like that, and then uh, one right there, and another one, and another one, and then another one, and then go ahead and block that up just like that, and that should go ahead and barricade that off. Now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and duplicate that on the other side as well. Once you have that mirrored up on both sides, go ahead and come up a few blocks just like this with, with uh, some observers just like that. Break these two out and place one downwards just like this. You're going to have to break all these out here temporarily and go ahead and place these in downwards just like this all the way across. Once you have that in, go ahead and fill this back in with uh, with your blocks like that and your obsidian. So go ahead and get that all the way across just like that and then go ahead and fill these all in just like so. Over here, you can go ahead and place in uh, some more glass on the edges just like this. Go ahead and place that all in. And in fact, you can go ahead and border this all up. Go ahead and build uh, build yourself a nice square uh, look an area of glass right here. Just border this all in just like that so you can see everything. Uh, let's go ahead and get this built up right here just like that. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Go ahead and fill this all in right here and then all this in right here too. Alright, so now you have a nice wall of glass there. We'll go ahead and decorate that up later. Over here on this side, you're going to go ahead and put some glass in here too. Go ahead and put glass right here and go ahead and put that all the way across. Now it's time for your lava, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and place in, uh, we're actually going to have to place in some blocks right here first. Let's go ahead and get these in here, place those in here too, just like that. Then you can go and uh, border these off here just like that. And same thing on this side, go ahead and get that all in. Now the, uh, the lava is going to go right on the side of your observer blocks just like that. So that way, uh, when these pistons get fired, you can see that the pistons should chop the lava stream in half, but not the lava source. It should just chop the lava stream in half, making sure that the water flows out first, and then the lava comes in afterwards. So once you have that in place, now we need to go ahead and wire up some of the redstone. 
So what we're going to do now is bring over some blocks just like this. Bring them on top of these pistons right here. Just like that. And same thing on this side. Go ahead and border that up just like so. Right here in front of the observers, go ahead and place in a repeater on both sides just like that. Then everywhere else you're going to place uh, a, a redstone dust just like that. And also redstone dust right here and all the way across just like that on both sides. Next, grab your pistons. We're going to go ahead and come right over here off the end of this uh, observer line right here. Go ahead and place one up just like that. Come over a couple more just like this. Break these three out and place one in this direction right here as well. So you should have a two block gap here in between. Go ahead and come down by a couple blocks just like that right here. And place in a redstone torch just like that. Place in a hopper. Place in another hopper facing into that hopper just like this. You can break that one out and replace that one just like that. That should go ahead and create yourself a nice little uh, hopper clock there. You're going to put in five items of your choice. That'll go ahead and get that started just like that. Next, we need to go ahead and start wiring this guy up. So go ahead and come over here just like this right here. There we go. Place yourself in a comparator just like that. That'll go ahead and go into a sticky piston. Let's go and get one of these guys. A sticky piston facing upwards just like this with an observer facing in this direction right there. That's going to be facing into a block just like that right there and that's going to go outwards just like this and that's going to step upwards just like that and that's going to go ahead and connect to that piston right there. Next we need to do the same thing on this side so go ahead and do this again. You're going to place a block out like this with your comparator and then your sticky piston and then your uh, observer in this direction right here, a block out right here, and then a, or a block up just like that, then a block out, and then a block up right there, and you can break that one out and put redstone dust there and there. Now what we need to do is we actually need to wire these guys up to the side over here. So what we need to do now is go ahead and place in yourself a couple blocks here, there, and one up like this right there. Go ahead and get yourself some blocks out here and there. There we go. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and place a repeater right here set to four ticks. Another one right here set to two ticks. Sorry about that. There we go. And go ahead and wire that up just like that. That'll go ahead and connect everything up. And we need to do the same thing on this side. So go ahead and get yourself a nice little area to do that with. We're going to go ahead and go right there and right here. One up on the side just like that. Come over here. And we have our repeaters right here set to two ticks, one to four ticks, just like that. And then this one, we can go and just put two blocks right there and wire that one up just like that. Next, go ahead and cap off all your lava. You're going to go ahead and place a block right here, over here, just like that, and cap off all of your lava. Same thing on this side as well. Go ahead and cap that all off. Over here, you're going to place in a redstone block right here on the top of that one, which is going to be opposite of your redstone torch. You should make sure that all your items over here, when that redstone torch turns off, the will start flowing over here. So now what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and come right here underneath this block right there. Break this redstone out, placing yourself a downwards facing observer with a block on top. And uh, go ahead and get yourself uh, some redstone dust to place that back just like that. And you should see that that fires those pistons. Same thing needs to happen over here. Go ahead and break this block out just right there. Place a downwards facing observer just like that with a block on its face. Go ahead and replace the redstone on top just like that. There we go. That'll go ahead and wire that all up. Now we need to go ahead and work out the back right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and come off by three blocks just like that. And a block up right there. Break this one out. Some sticky pistons on the side in the downwards position like this. And then a dropper facing downwards just like that underneath. Come down one more block like this. And then a dropper facing upwards just like this right here underneath that other one right there. All right, you can break that block out. Now underneath this piston on my right hand side, we're going to go and come down here and come down one more with an observer just like that, catty corner to that dropper. Now we're going to go ahead and power this dropper so when this piston extends we should be able to power the lower dropper. So we're going to put in a repeater right there with a block up like this with some redstone dust on top and you can break that lower block out. Now we need to do the same thing to this side except we need to power the upper dropper. So let's go ahead and place ourselves in a repeater right there. Go ahead and place yourself in a repeater. Then come off that block by one and step on down just like this. Go and get yourself on down. And then coming off this block right here, step on down as well, just like that. And then you can bring that all the way across and it should meet up nice and neatly just like that. Go ahead and bring this redstone down and around all the way across to that block right there and that should wire that all up. Now what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and come off uh, this guy with a comparator. 
So that's going to go ahead and come right here just like that. And that's going to go into a sticky piston right here with a observer facing the outwards position, position just like that. Now we need to grab ourselves a slab. So go ahead and grab yourself a slab. And what do I want to replace? Uh, we're going to place our, our hoppers right there. So we're going to place a slab in right there just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? We need to go ahead and place a block in. Uh, a slab in right here that's where it is right there and then place in a repeater right there just like that and that's going to go into a block just like this upwards just like that now place a block up like this with a slab on it like that so that way when that piston extends it doesn't power this block and you should be able to put redstone dust there and there go ahead and come up a couple more blocks just like this and stair step on up into here into this area so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place in blocks just like this on top of all these pistons and then on the sides go ahead and put in some uh, slabs just like that that way none of these pistons get budded they don't have any bud powering going on and then that way you can go ahead and link all these up go ahead and run redstone dust all the way around just like this there we go all right so that should go ahead and complete up that side now we need to go ahead and do the same thing for this side if we need to go ahead and throw ourselves a comparator off the lower dropper Okay, that's going to go ahead and come out of that here just like that. That's going to do the same thing, come into a sticky piston uh, facing upwards like this right there. And that's going to go into an observer. And that's going to go into a uh, block just like this, I believe, right? That's how we have it. Uh, no, it goes into an uh, a repeater, sorry, a repeater. And then that goes into a block just like this, uh, like that here. And go ahead and place in your repeater just like that. Place in a block with your slab up, just like that, and then another block up like that. You can break that one out, and then you should be able to put redstone dust all the way up there, just like that, and that should connect all the way up. Once that's all wired up, go ahead and test out your system. Make sure that if you put a block in here, that piston extends, and if you take it out and you empty the system, these blocks change position. And same thing should happen on the lower dropper. Fill that in, piston extends, empty it, blocks change position. That makes sure that the empty dropper is no longer being powered and the full one is now going to start pumping items into the empty one. So now what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and come off that circuit. That is our bottle of enchanting counter. That's going to count out 50 stone blocks that we break. So what we need to do is we need to wire that up to our bottle of enchanting dispenser. So that's going to go ahead and come off that with a block down here just like that. That's going to go over into a repeater like so. Get an observer and face it in the downwards position, just like that, with some redstone dust on top. You're going to take this observers uh, all the way down to the level of your chest right there. Did I get that right? <laughs> I did. I got that right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come off that like this. Okay. Go ahead and break that one out. And you're going to come over another block. Go ahead and come up one from there, just like that. So you should have two here in the middle. Put some redstone dust down with a repeater set to two ticks and a redstone torch on the face of that one. Go ahead and come over here on top of that torch with a block, and then a dispenser on top of that one right here. That's your uh, bottle of enchanting dispenser. Place in two hoppers right here on the side, right there and right here. There we go. Next, you're going to go ahead and place in, uh, you actually go ahead and place in this block right here, right there. There we go. And then your redstone lamps on the side of these guys right there, and then your lever right here. All right, so next we can go ahead and box this all in, make that look nice and neat. Go ahead and get these blocks all in here, just like that. Put the sides on, like so. And then we're, we can come back in here and decorate this up later once we actually get our floor in and all of that stuff. But now what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and wire this up. This lever here is our override circuit which in case we don't have any bottles of enchanting we can just go ahead and override that system but if we want to go ahead and, and uh, get say you know so many stacks of stone or whatever we need we can pretty much calculate it because one stack of bottle of enchanting is going to get us 50 stacks of stone so you can pretty much do the math on that and figure out how much you're going to need put the exact amount in and then you come back to that Mitch being mine so that's uh, pretty easy and your pickaxe won't be broken it'll go ahead and turn the farm off so we need to go ahead and wire that up what we need to do now is go ahead and grab ourselves a comparator. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of that. And actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, flush my inventory, and we'll go ahead and come back when I do that. <laughs> okay, so what we need now is we need a block right here behind our dispenser. Go ahead and come up and facing in this direction, we need to place a comparator just like that. And that's going to go ahead and head into a block just like that. All right, so that's going to go ahead and have another block up diagonally, another one up diagonally from there, 
and then another one up diagonally from there coming up just like this and then you should see that that puts you right underneath this torch what we're going to do now is go ahead and place in all of our torches place one in here place one in there place one in here and then go ahead and place one on top right here and you should see that that one turns off leaving this one on meaning that anytime we put an item in the dispenser something should happen now I believe something's gonna happen here I believe uh, I tested that this out earlier and this is gonna butt out so what we need to do here is we need to actually re rewire this go ahead and break that piece of redstone out and you're gonna come up here just like that then you're gonna break that redstone out and just pillar up like that and now you're gonna grab some redstone and just go and do the same thing just rewire that up just like that for some reason that redstone there was budding that piston and it was uh, it was actually getting giving an update anytime it powered that block it was budded and then it would get instantly updated which uh, I don't know it, it didn't like it so we can't use that so nonetheless uh, that should work now let's go ahead and see what happens if we put something in the system we should see that uh, if we put ourselves it doesn't matter what it is it'll it'll take anything uh, even if it's not a bottle of enchanting, you should see that that works. Let's see here. Uh, our items are not in there. Let's go ahead and put our items in here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, both of those are up. There we go, and the system is now working. There we go. As you can see, that everything is now starting to create stone. There we go. Perfect. And as you can see, that's going to pop out our bottle of enchanting, and the farm turns off. Awesome. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and wire up our override circuit. Don't forget to add these two pieces of glass before you test your farm. If you don't add those two pieces of glass, your farm will break. And to wire that up, you're going to grab your observers. You're going to come right over here off this lamp. And you should see that uh, that goes ahead and powers up any time you flick that lamp on and off. So what we're going to do is we're going to come off that with a block right here with a sticky piston on the side of that one. With a redstone block right there. That's going to go ahead and power up a uh, redstone re uh, repeater just like this right there. There we go. And that's going to go up into a block like that with another block out here to the side. Just like that, the little 2x2 two two area. Go ahead and put yourself in a torch, another repeater right here, just like that. That's going to go into a block right here, and that's going to have a torch on the face of that one right here, just like that. And then we're going to put another block right here with another torch on the face of that one. And as you can see, that one's going to turn off, which will override the system if we turn that on. Now if we turn that on, you should see that that overrides and that piston fires, which it'll turn the farm on. There we go. And then if we turn it off, it should turn the override system off. Perfect. And then if we put a bottle of enchanting or whatever in the system, it should turn the system back on. Perfect. Just like so. And if we go ahead and take that out, it turns the farm back off. Perfect. So your override system is now all wired up. That is essentially the farm complete now, guys. The farm is now functional. The rest of it is all decorative. So I'm going to go ahead and run through that with you guys real quick. Go ahead and do a quick demonstration of what I did to decorate this thing. So let's go ahead and fill this all in with glass here, just like this. Fill that all in with glass right here, just like that, all the way down and around, just like so. And then right here, what I did is I took some obsidian right here so we don't break anything. Go ahead and put some, put some obsidian right there and right here just like this all the way around and then right here I put myself in a quartz stair just to give that self uh, a nice look right there and then you know I went ahead and put some glass right there now uh, three blocks up I went ahead and put our, myself a roof so I'm gonna go ahead and cap that off right here all the way around just go ahead and do that get yourself a block all the way around let's see here where's the floor level the floor levels right here just like this so this is gonna come out here just like that that you should see that that wraps around that piston nice and neatly and it should come out behind that block so you should be able to put yourself in a wall here and make that look nice and neat go ahead and put a block underneath there to make that look complete and do the same thing on this side go and get all that buttoned up here you might notice that it's gonna get a little dark let's go ahead and add a little bit of lighting here let's go ahead and do that uh, where's the uh, sea lanterns, there they are. Let's go ahead and add some light here. Let's go ahead and put one right in the center, just like that. There we go. And then go ahead and add some more blocks here for the corridor. Uh, again, we're going to be three blocks tall, so let's go ahead and complete that up like this. Get that to come around here and bring that all the way out to the front of your observers, just like that. Oh, just one block past, like so. So go ahead and complete that all the way up. Bring this all the way in. 
three blocks high just like so go ahead and put your roof on there we go put it on your sides and then uh, once you get all this in you're going to go ahead and put in your front door so go ahead and do this to the exact opposite side you're going to go ahead and button the other corridor up as well just leave that one block there empty once you have that mocked up on both sides, let's go ahead and light up all in here before it gets too dark in here and mobs start spawning. So go ahead and make sure that you light up all of your redstone, everything underneath. Make sure that you don't leave any dark spots under here. Uh, I would probably remove any grass to keep any uh, passive mobs from spawning too. I'd only be putting stone or something that's non-spawnable underneath. So make sure that no uh, hostile or passive mobs can spawn and make sure everything's nice and lit up. Once you have all your lighting completed, go ahead and come over here. You're going to place a block right in here with a stair facing in that direction right there. Next, you're going to go ahead and come in here and continue this right here and continue that on out just like this. There we go. And do the same thing over here. You're going to place a block in there with a stair facing in that direction. Go ahead and continue this out just like that. You actually don't need those corner blocks in there. Go ahead and continue that on out just like that. You can put those in if you like. And then uh, next we need to go ahead and build this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build a small area just like that to go ahead and place that up. I think I just accidentally placed that one. Yeah, I think I just placed that on accident. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that up there, uh, up there just like that. And we're going to put some iron bars in here. So let's go ahead and at the floor level here, let's see. I believe that's the walking level right here. Just like that. There we go. Let's go ahead and add ourselves in. Uh, let's see here. I believe I went like this. I believe I went just like this right here. And uh, did some stairs just like this. Yeah, that looks nice. And I believe I even cupped them up just like this to actually make them look uh, completed. Just like that. That looks nice. And actually, I think I actually just went like this. Yeah, that looks better. Just like that. And then we took some iron bars in here just like this. We took that all the way up like this. And let's go ahead and barricade ourselves in with a little uh, area right here. So we get ourselves a area to put ourselves some lava. Let's go ahead and put that in just like that. There we go. One more iron bar will do us. Let's go ahead and get ourselves uh, that in there. And then that should go ahead and go in there just like this. Now what we need to do is put ourselves in our lava right there and then go ahead and cap that off just like that and that'll go ahead and look really nice just like so so what we're going to do is we're going to go and do the same thing over here go ahead and cap that off right here i believe and actually you know we came up one more iron bar let's go and do the same thing with our blocks put that up here like this bring that up and then we need to build ourselves a little corridor back here to house our lava that actually that needs to go back here just like that there we go Go ahead and get a area to house your lava. Put your lava in right next to the top uh, observer right there and go ahead and cap it off there, kind of for safety. That looks really nice just like that. So that's looking pretty good. Go ahead and get yourself a floor area built out here for yourself, just like that. And go ahead and get yourself a little perimeter built out just like that. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some iron doors right here. Let's grab some of these. Let's go ahead and put ourselves in uh, a pressure plate right there, and you're going to put yourself in an iron door, and first of all, let's go ahead and break that out and put in a light source right there. Let's go ahead and put in a light source block with an iron door just like that. You can put buttons on both sides just like that. Buttons there and there, pressure plate in the back, iron door just like that, or door of your choice, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and bring this around, all the way around here like this, and then you can go ahead and build up your border. And uh, let's go ahead and get the floor area built out up here, just like so. That's looking pretty good. All right, so once you have that done, next we're going to go ahead and get some of the roof in. Which to do that, I actually just forgot. I actually just put those doors in the wrong spot. Let's go ahead and build our floor out another block just like this. We can go and break these buttons out here, right there, break the floor out, replace that sea lantern right there, and bring that out by one block just like that. Do the same thing over here. Break that out. Sea lantern up here. Break that guy out. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to place in our walls just like that. Place in our pressure plate back uh, back here, right there with our iron door. Now for our top, we're going to go ahead and bring this around just like this. And bring that around just like that, I believe. And then these guys I brought in straight. I thought I le left those in straight. And we brought that up here like this, just like that. Pressure plate, and then your door. 
and then your little cap up here which looks nice just like this there we go gives us some depth and detail Oop, just like this here there we go all right that'll go ahead and wrap around now we can go ahead and move on to the roof all right don't forget to place in your buttons right here on the sides of your doors so you can open these guys there we go you're going to go ahead and break out some of these blocks right here. Go ahead and break these out and place in some stairs just like this. You're going to count four blocks back just like that. There you go. Put in four more blocks right here just like that. There we go. And then you can go ahead and bring this out to the side just like that. Over here, bring that up. Place in a block right here. Do the same over there. Fill that in and then break these out over here. And then uh, you're going to count four blocks, which I believe is just one more just like that. Place in your stairs, just like that, there we go. And fill in your wall right there and right here. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and bring that out here just like that. And you can go ahead and place in some temporary blocks here. You don't really need them, but uh, it's gonna help you out here just in a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place in another block right here, just like that. And that's gonna house our iron bars for decoration, just like that. I like the way that looks there. So, also, again, up here, make sure that you have plenty of lighting here in the back so that you have uh, no mob spawns up here either and no lighting updates from any of the redstone or any of the redstone torches. Make sure everything is plenty uh, well lit back here. That's very, very important. So go ahead and get all that done. Once you have that well lit back there, go ahead and bring your stairs in. The stairs are going to be going in upside down just like this. And uh, let's go ahead and bring these around here just like that. There we go. You can leave those hanging right there. And in the front, like I was saying, you can get yourself some temporary blocks if you find that easier. But you don't really need them. As you, see, as you can see, I just did that pretty easily. You just aim there at the top corner and bring those around there just like that. Right here around the sides, you're going to place in a stair block like this and one like that. And go ahead and bring that around a few more blocks just like so. We'll leave that hanging there and we'll come back to it later. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and bring up another block right here. That's going to go right there. And another one coming up just like this to house all of our redstone right there just like so. Go ahead and place yourself up a block just like that. And actually you can place one in just right there. Place in yourself in some iron bars for decoration going all the way up. And then you can bring these stairs out and around just like this. Following the contour of the building just like that. There we go. And you can do the same thing to the other side as well as the top stairs up here. Go ahead and bring these around just like that. And go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Once you have that in on this side, go ahead and make sure that you bring out your floor blocks too, whatever decoration you want on the outside. Uh, over here, what we're going to do is we're going to come into the end of our redstone line. Go ahead and place up some blocks here from your glass all the way up to your pistons, just like that. Same thing, catty corner to this, to go ahead and block off your redstone right here. Go ahead and pillar that on up, just like so. Bring this out here, just like this, all the way across, just like that. Same thing on top, skip two blocks up here. Place that in, bring that all the way around there, just like that. Inside of here, you can place in some iron bars just like that for decoration, so you can see inside, but it looks halfway decent on the outside. There we go, just like that. Go ahead and place in some more uh, blocks of your choice down here to complete that up, and then go ahead and wrap that around with some stairs to go ahead and make that look seamless. Over here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place another stair out and about, out and around just like this. Go ahead and bring that around. Just like that, and you can bring that all the way across in the front, just like that, there you go. And underneath here, it'd probably be smarter to go ahead and place in your blocks of choice first before you put your stairs in, just like that. And then over here, you're going to go ahead and place in one more block of choice right there, with your iron bars in the corner, just like that, and place in your roof block right there, and fill that all in. You can also bring your stairs across the top, just like this, all the way around. It'll make that look nice and seamless. There we go, starting to really come together now. All right, so basically you can go ahead and duplicate that whole thing on this side now. Once you have that all in, you should have a nice looking base to your area now. All that's left is literally just the roof. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. Let's go ahead and come over here to the front side of our farm. Let's go ahead and come right over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place in an upside down stair right here, if I can get that on here like that, there we go. Go and get that started just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around here and it's going to be a little bit different as we move along. So let's go ahead and pay attention. What we're going to do right here is we're going to go ahead and follow the contour just like that right here. 
But as we come up right here, we're actually just going to go ahead and stay right on top of the stairs, just like that, creating that little uh, little seam right there. Same thing on the back side. Don't go too far. Go and keep it in the at the same level. Bring that all the way across. Same thing right here. Go and bring that all the way across again. Right here, you're going to come back by one, but that's it. Then you're going to go and follow the contour of your other stairs, just like this, protruding. And then go ahead and wrap that all the way around and complete that ring up. For the next layer above that, get your stairs out and go ahead and place one in this direction right here. And then go ahead and bring that all the way across, minus the last two. Then go ahead and place one more in that direction right there. Same thing right here. You're going to bring that one over here and bring that one out like that. Leave that one hanging. We'll come back to that one here in a second. Go ahead and do that one here again. Oop, not like that. There we go. <laughs> I messed it up. We'll go ahead and place one in here just like that, just like that. There we go. And then uh, what we'll do here is we need to go ahead and get that placed in here just like that. Grab your iron bars. Place those in the corner. That'll make that look nice and neat. Now what we need to do is we need to measure how far we're going to uh, bring these back, which is going to be all the way back to this piston right here. So go ahead and grab your stairs, bring that all the way out to there just like that, and then do the same thing over here. Go ahead and bring these all the way out here just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this stair just like this all the way to that area. Minus the last one, then go ahead and of course turn sideways again just like that, and do the same thing on the other side. Going to go ahead and bring these stairs all the way across, and then turning and hooking it right at the very end. Make sure to torch up this back area as well. Go ahead and make sure that's all lit up nice and well. And then go ahead and grab your slabs and cover this whole area up from the bottom of these stairs. For the next layer, you go ahead and break out your slabs here in the back. You're going to place one on top of that stair and go ahead and bring that all the way across just like that and one on top of that stair as well. On top of these stairs, you're going to go ahead and place one up just like this and bring that all the way around on top of your iron bars. Bring that all the way around to your other side where your slabs are. Also, bring your stairs up around in the back, so go ahead and place these in here all the way across here, just like this, if I can get that there, there we go. Go ahead and bring those all the way up. Same thing up here, you're going to place a line of stairs in, just like this, right there. Go ahead and place these all the way in, across, like that. Here on the back side, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place in one just like this, and then uh, uh, do this pattern again, just like that. Go ahead and bring that out here, just like that. You're going to break that one out, uh, go ahead and place in a block like that with an iron bar and place in a stair on that iron bar in that fashion just like that and same thing on this side do that same design that we had go ahead and place these in here just like that place in a block your iron bar your stair then go ahead and place in your stair on this side bring that around here like that and bring that all the way up and connect it up oop there we go go ahead and bring that up And finally, the last layer is as easy as it gets. Go ahead and bring your stairs, bring these on top of your iron bars, finish the ensemble like that, bring that off over there, continuing the slope of the roof in the back, bring that up over there, and then go ahead and bring that over and around like this on top of your iron bars, completing that design all the way up. Looks really nice and neat. There we go. Leave that uh, stair there, get yourself a slab, then you're going to go ahead and cover this whole thing up with slabs. Don't forget to build your beacon pyramid, which is going to be 10 by 9, and you're going to have two beacons on, on the top. These two beacons need to be set to regeneration and haste too. So get one of these, put a haste on it, and put it onto regen. Click that like that. That'll go ahead and you make sure that you have uh, haste and regeneration. This one over here, you need to put haste too only. So go ahead and click haste. Click Haste 2 and go and click that. The reason why you have to have two beacons, one with Haste and one with Haste 2, is because you can't have regeneration with Haste 2. You need one for regen and one for Haste 2. So once you have that in, then uh, you're pretty much done. <laughs> the farm's pretty much ready to go. So now that this place is finally looking nice and neat, let's go ahead and give her a test. Let's go ahead and hop inside and see what she can do. Let's head on over here. 
go inside. And actually, I think I might throw in some more lighting. Let's go ahead and throw some lighting right here in the corners. It'll go ahead and make that look nice and neat in the uh, hallway so you have a little bit more lighting. So let's see here. If we go ahead and throw ourselves in whatever, we have a bottle of enchanting or whatever it takes. Should turn the farm on. There we go. Nice. Sweet. And then once that pops out, we should see that our farm does turn off. There we go. It turns off very well. All right. And then also we have our override system right here. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and put ourselves into survival mode. Make sure that we can chop up this uh, stone here. There we go. Just like that. You go ahead and put a rubber band around your R2 button. And you just go to town. And this thing will collect stone for days. <laughs> and as you can see, it all gets collected very nice and quickly by the hoppers. And they'll sit there and produce stone uh, endlessly and 100% uh, reliably too. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. This thing has been a lot of fun to build. It's actually quite a quite a... Quite a build. It's actually really fun, and as you can see, all of your all of your items come in there nice and quickly, just like that. So, well, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button, and if you really liked it, please subscribe. And as always, share this video with all your friends. I'm Broken Bones, and I will see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to click the links on the end screen. Once I have those tutorials out, you guys will have some storage solutions for this farm. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time.